a new law goes into effect in Texas that allows hundreds of cancer and PTSD patients to have access to medical marijuana. The law will increase the amount of THC, which is the ingredient that makes you high, from 0.5% into 1%. But is it enough? Here's the full story with Jesse Williams. Cannabis reform is its healthcare reform, its social welfare reform, its criminal justice reform. My name is Jesse Williams. I am a advocate for changing the laws in Texas. I'm part of a 501c4 nonprofit called Texas Cannabis Collective. I'm the deputy director of the organization and I have been working both at the Capitol and outside the Capitol trying to change the laws in Texas. I'm, al I'm also a patient in the program here in Texas. I am a teacup patient for PTSD and I have been seeing some benefit from being in the program. So I've been in since September 1st of this year when PTSD was added to the list of conditions in the Texas Compassionate Use Program for Texas. Oh, I had been through a multitude of medications with the VA as a veteran and each one had its own little benefit but it had all these, these major downsides. And like one of them, it'd make me happy and I was smiling, but most of the time I, I wanted to be asleep or I couldn't think very clearly for more than 30 minutes at a time. And I started using initially before I was able eligible for the main program when our hemp program went into place, I started using full spectrum extracts as part of a hemp oil. And I was seeing benefit there, especially with like anxiety. I was still having a little bit of problem here and there, trying to get to sleep. I was given some recommendations by my VA doctors. Things helped a little bit. And I joined this program, started taking the oils on a regular basis, and started seeing almost instant results. The medications the VA would want to give you, or even your normal psychologist, psychiatrist out in town, they'll tell you, oh, it takes two, three weeks for this medication to really start kicking in and work for you, whereas, the medicinal marijuana has been, as I say, it's more of a therapeutic item. It should be more called thera therapeutic cannabis, but it's working instantly. You, you see that day, you're like, I feel better. <laughs> I, I'm happy. I'm generally in a happy mood and I can rest and not have nightmares about just random stuff that happened to me in my military service. So the biggest issue that I face being part of the program is the cost of the medicine itself. And I was recently online looking to make sure, check my prices, and for a, what I have here is a zero to one formulation, I'd pay roughly 60 bucks a bottle, and I would normally be prescribed a bottle or two bottles a month. I'm also prescribed what's called a one to one formulation, which is one part CBD to one part THC, and that would be costing me $100 a bottle, and being prescribed two bottles would make that 200 bucks, I'd be looking at roughly $320 in cost a month just for 1% THC content. For that type of money in any other state, you'd get months worth of supply at a higher concentration. And we're seeing the other issue is not so much for myself, but I've seen it with other veterans, other individuals who suffer from PTSD is that the 1% means that they have to take more doses and it becomes more costly for them, whereas they're in any state, they could possibly have one part CBD to 20 parts THC and not have to buy as many bottles and it'd be more cost effective for them. 